guys welcome to my channel my name is matilda so doyen makeup has been taking over the trend and i'm actually curious to see how it's gonna look on me so today i'm going to be trying out the doyen makeup look if you don't know doyen makeup look is a type of makeup that is popularized in china and that is the style of makeup that their celebrities do so now it's coming here and everyone is going crazy about it so let's be crazy about it together let's try it out and see how it's gonna look on me Doyen makeup is characterized by a really matte look, lots of glitters, eyeliner, and a lot of pink, 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 pink blush, pink eyeshadow, and everything. So we're going to be trying it out today. So what I'm going to do first is apply my foundation. And I'll be using the Beauty by AD Luxe Skin Foundation. You guys saw me use this foundation in my last video, and I actually liked the foundation a lot so we'll be using it again today if this foundation agrees to come out one thing i really like about this doing makeup is that it looks really natural from what i saw during my research it is actually not natural it's full coverage just that the full coverage is really matte it's a very simple look and i just know it's not going to stress me out a lot from what i've seen so guys i want you guys to tell me in the comment section do you think i would nail this look make your predictions down below before we end the video i want to see who guessed if i would nail this look or not i've not tried this look before so i don't even know how it's gonna go but i'm quite positive about this one from what i saw it's quite similar to the what was the name of that trend where there was a lot of blush I did it last year. I can't even remember the name of the trend. Trends just come and go. It's hard to even keep up at this point. But it's the blush, something about blush that I did last year. So it's almost similar. Just that this one is more full coverage. The next thing is blush. And blushes are quite common in this doing makeup. Like they use a lot of blush. They put a lot of blush on their nose. Put it on their cheeks. I even feel like they put it on their eyes too. And I feel you put on your forehead. I just know I see a lot of pink. Look what I see on your lips too. Mm -hmm. Wow, I look pretty. For the concealer, I really don't know how to apply the concealer. I don't know if they put a lot of concealer. So I will just put my normal regular concealer. I will not put... I don't know. I'm actually quite confused about this concealer part. From the makeup look I've seen, the concealer is not really that prevalent like it's not obvious so i'm not even going to be able to tell if they put concealer because of how monotone the makeup looks but i will just put just because now when it comes to their contour you will not see a visible contour line on their makeup but you can see that they are sculpted in a way like their nose is sculpted their cheeks not necessarily their cheeks, but you can see some sculpting activities going on. So I'll just put a little bit of contour just to give the nose some shape. Not too much. Where should I put again? Where, where do you guys think I should put? Let me just put a little bit here. And a little bit here. I'm going to start my blending from the cheeks. I think I put too much blush on my nose. Like, what was I thinking? This doing makeup is quite cute. Maybe I might even add a little bit more blush, you know. This makeup look is just an excuse for me to use blush because you guys know I love blush a lot and I will always find an excuse to apply blush. Next up, we're moving on to the concealer. So guys, I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup Powder to bake my face. For this doing makeup, it's quite matte so I'm just going to bake my entire face. On a normal day, I'm not going to do this. I will usually set my face before I go on to bake, but this one, I want some matte, matte, matte look. I'm going overboard. I don't think I've done this type of extremely matte look in a while, and it's really making me appreciate this Sasha Buttercup powder because you can see I'm literally piling on the powder on my face, and my face is still looking really smooth and not cakey. So I like that about it. So let's not let's not test it too much. <laughs> let's leave it the way it is now. Guys, I went off camera to figure out how I'm gonna do the eyes, 
which I have done right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this eye. I'm not done with it though, but we're just gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna take a little bit of treat and bubble gum, these two shades together from Miami Cosmetics palette, and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid really lightly. I don't want the pink to be too obvious on the eyes because we're gonna be putting a lot of pink on our face. First of all, I'm gonna be tapping the color on my lid first. Oh, I forgot to draw my brows. Oh, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's do the brows first. From what I can see on the photo, brows are defined, although they are not that defined, but you can see that the brows are defined. You can see that the brows were actually drawn. So I'm going to draw my brows. This is different from the, oh yes, yes, I just got the name. I'm cold makeup, yes, I'm cold makeup. So this is different from the I'm cold makeup because I'm, I'm cold makeup, the brows are not that defined, but this one, I can clearly see the brows are defined. So I'm just gonna brush my hairs up and draw a little bit, a little brow, you know. Now I've drawn the, the bottom brow, I'm just going to brush it downwards and trace it out. So I noticed that the brow hairs in the front, they are not as dark as this side. So I'm not going to fill in the brow hairs. I'm just going to use this spoolie to just brush the hairs up. Next up, I'm going to go on to my concealer, which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I use that to define the brows just a little bit on the bottom. Take a little bit of concealer, a little bit of concealer, and just draw it because I've already applied eyeshadow. I don't want the concealer to miss the eyeshadow up so i'm just going to be really careful with how i draw the brows i really need to shave my brows because they really do be getting in the ways of my brows like when i draw my brows the hairs the extra hairs they will just be messing it up for me and i don't like that so i'm going to be using my milani compact powder which is kind of my skin tone and just use that to set the highlights now we can go back to drawing our eyeshadow I'm going to go back to those pink shades again and reinforce what I was already doing. So this look includes a lot of glitter and I don't have a glitter glue. So you guys know I'm the queen of improvising. So I'm going to use my concealer as my glitter in a way so that the glitter will stick. Thankfully, the glitter on this eyeshadow palette sticks a little bit. So first of all, I'll just draw out the outline with my concealer the way I want it to be. This is going to be messy because I don't have glitter glue. So excuse me. Mm, this is horrible. This is so horrible. I hate it. Ah, the concealer has messed everything up. This is horrible. Put so much concealer. Ah, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. it keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse. Taking it everything up. Sorry, guys. Guys, this is honestly not my best work. I am not excited about this look anymore. I'm trying to remove the glitter. The glitter just won't come off my eyes. I don't know what to do at this point. So I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm tired. And I really don't want to be bothered about this. So let's just continue the tutorial. The problem with this eye was that I put too much concealer. The concealer started to break up the glitter. And you know I didn't already have glue, so there was nothing to hold it. We'll just manage what, what we see. I mean, we can't have good days every time, right? Right? Let me just be using that to console myself for flopping this look. Console me in the comment section. I'm done with these eyes. I can't keep fixating on it anymore. I don't want to. So I'm going to use this white shade from my Zikel Cosmetics palette. I'll use that on my inner corners. So I told you this is a very glittery look. So I'm going to use this shade right here and apply on where I applied the white eyeshadow. I'm just going to dust off all those excess glitter off my face before it gets even worse. So I'm going to go back to this pink shade and I'll use that under my eyes. I just wrinkle it. I'm just going to put a little bit of brown eyeshadow under like this just to give it more definition so i'm going to go to the glitter once again and just put the glitter 
underneath the eyes just at the middle so i went on to apply my mascara off camera and i was almost contemplating do they apply lashes or is it just mascara and i really look deep 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 into these pictures and i feel like they apply lashes but the lashes are not so obvious so that gives it that natural look i just woke up so i'll be applying lashes minimal lashes so it would have that natural look should i apply it on camera do you guys want me to apply it on camera should i show you how i apply it on camera so i already have a lash tutorial so i'm not gonna go in depth but if you guys want me to do an updated 2023 lashes tutorial i'll do that for you guys i will do it because i love you guys you guys are really trying for me and i just want to use this opportunity to say thank you to every one of you that like subscribes watches my videos i really appreciate you guys i love all the love i appreciate all the love and support you guys give to me and if you're still here watching and you're not subscribed to my channel you've not liked this video what are you waiting for subscribe like this video if you want to see more of me so it's time for my favorite part of this video which is the blush so i'm just going to be applying a lot of blush because this is a blushy blushy look so as i'm applying the blush on my cheeks i'm just going to raise it up to meet my eyes to give it that cohesive look so i i am loving it loving it loving it can you see how happy i just got like so this is the pixie beauty nuance quartet sugar blossom palette it's a favor of mine i would add freckles you guys should remind me to add freckles remind me remind me i don't want to forget one thing i noticed in this look is the nose highlighter so it's really emphasized so i'm just going to put it here and for my research i saw it's emphasized to give you that contoured snatch nose without even trying it's what i do in all days it works i went on to just define my lips a little bit now i want to emphasize more on the pink because the pink is fading away and go on to the red eyeshadow yeah yeah to finish it off i'm gonna apply my Oh no, please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. My eyeshadow is broken. <sighs> so sad. Can today get any worse? Can today get any worse? You guys are seeing all of this. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to a lot. Here is the final look how did i do doing makeup look this look was a roller coaster this video was a roller coaster and i hope you enjoyed every bit of it if you guys would like to see me outside of youtube you can check me out on instagram twitter facebook pinterest tiktok all matilda duku hey 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 so guys rate my look from one to ten how did i do this doing makeup look? was it a hit or was it a miss let me know in the comment section below oh if you guys would like to support me please subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up and also share it to your friends really <sighs> and also share it to your friends anyone you think that might be interested let them know about me share my videos to them if you guys want to see other videos i'm going to leave some videos on the screen right here i'll leave a playlist of all the different people and different trends i've tried to follow and how it went and i'll leave another random video right here for you so guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye